Yo, it's Austin and I need a haircut. And also I wanna talk about Tony Hawk. So I'm gonna put it into the same video. I had a charity stream. It did pretty well. One of the donation incentives was a haircut video. And I was like, hey, let's do the haircut video. But first let's let this get like freaking ridiculous so we can chop it off and uh, remaster ourselves while we talk about the Tony Hawk remaster. It makes sense. It was all planned and not just right now. So yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna start with that though. I've never cut my own hair before. It's probably a really, really bad idea. And here's some Tony Hawk in the background. Didn't work. Gotta try a little harder than that. So I'm gonna try my best to like, give myself either a fade or a faux hawk or a mohawk. Not a faux hawk, that's a douchey. It's not that douchey. It's kind of douchey. I know people are like, wow, your hair kind of looks like a Spike Spiegel anime, but I don't really feel like I can pull that off because every morning I wake up, it kind of does more of like, more like this. It like barely looks different. I want to get hair all over my body. So I brought this trash bag. It's just like, did it make it? I did it. All right. Wait, this isn't gonna work. I'm, I've just constricted my shit. <laughs> Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 is possibly one of the greatest games of all time. Um, but that is because it is a real... I'm just wearing like a vest. What, I didn't accomplish anything. It's really good. Uh, and I want to talk about it, but first... Let's, uh, let's start right here. What did I do? Is that good? Are we done? Yo, my hair's too thick. It's like barely coming out. This, uh, this trash bag idea just didn't work out for me, did it? Here, now we just have a toga. So when they announced Tony Hawk 1 and 2, I was like, this is either gonna suck or be great. I saw that the developer, they worked on Skylanders, that's Vicarious Visions. They also worked on the Crash Bandicoot remake, but the thing about that for me was I never played Crash Bandicoot growing up, so I was like, this could go either way, this could be great, this could be terrible. However, it turns out when you faithfully not only remake, but enhance, two nearly perfect video games and you put them together with like modern things. Well, it uh, turns out that becomes a widely praised critical and commercial success. Who'd have thought? Pretty much exactly what I expected from the second best game of all time, according to Metacritic. It ain't wrong though. Oh, this is gonna turn into a mullet, isn't it? I could try it first. Hold on, let's try a mullet. I feel like nothing came out. Am I not party rocking hard enough? Take it to, I don't know, six? Six good? What's the difference? There's so much hair on the ground already and I don't feel like I've done anything. Look at this. This is more than enough hair to be a gaming CEO. It's enough hair to be the president. <laughs> I don't really feel like I've done much on my head so far. I know I have. But I wanna talk about Tony Hawk again for a second. I think it's crazy that we live in a society that has now remade Tony Hawk three times. Tony Hawk, as you all know, is, well, Tony Hawk himself doesn't truly exist in this world, apparently. One and two were very good games. I put them when they came out when I was a child. I loved them both. The reason I, I that I had this like neighbor who had a Dreamcast in Tony Hawk 2 and I wanted to hang out with him so bad, so I like joined band? to spend more time with him to play Tony Hawk. I'm a, I was a freak. But uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 and 1. Great games, not quite 3. 3's like up there and I really hope 1 and 2 gets that as a like a DLC pack, but it's still fantastic nonetheless. However, 1 and 2 isn't the first remake. When the original Xbox was coming out, Microsoft was like, hey, we need our own Tony Hawk game for us for us gamers. So they were like, okay, it's called Tony Hawk 2X. And it was a combination of all the career modes from one and two put together with their own couple of like new levels that were okay. But it was still like a, like a, like a more HD version cause you could do it in 480p. That was the original remake of that, which is crazy that it happened like right when the series was getting off its feet. And it's okay, it's serviceable. You know, it doesn't have like the advanced movesets that one and two does, but it, it's still, it's, it's totally fun. And Spider-Man's in it also, and you can't beat Spider-Man. I think the one that everyone recognizes and the reason that a lot of people, myself included, were uh, like kind of nervous 
for this uh, remaster was uh, Tony Hawk 1 and 2 HD. No, it's just Tony Hawk HD. I'm, I'm so mad, I can't even... Hello. All the physics were off. Also, the scale was really off when I was like playing it, like a comparison on my own. I was like, wow, uh, Tony Hawk is so small. Why is everything so small? And it's so floaty. There's only like seven stages in the game, so it's just over with so fast, and it's a... Uh, it was a bad remake, it was a bad game. But the thing that works with Tony Hawk 1 and 2 that I really like is that it incorporates movesets from as far as like Tony Hawk Underground where you're doing wall plants. In those old levels like Warehouse and School 1 and 2 and Hangar, you can do the crazy moveset that you could do from that game. And it ends up feeling a lot closer to like Thug Pro. Granted, there's not as many anime girls as you can have in Thug Pro, but it's still, uh, they did it real good. And it looks visually really good. You know, I was like, how do I talk about Tony Hawk? Because like, really, it's just, it's perfect. It's a perfect, don't, it's perfect. Except the, the creative skater mode, it's all right. Oh, I get it. I understand now. Wow, it's coming out in mass now. Holy f By the way, I haven't got like a haircut since February. So uh, this is the first time I've like felt air on like the side of my head in so long. Cause right after uh, stay at home orders started, I was like, well, I'll just wait until that goes away in two months. Ah, sure didn't happen. Yo, look at this. This is enough hair to like, be a beetle. Yeah, let's put it, <laughs> put it back where it belongs. Uh, okay, next side. We've been going hard on one side. Let's get the other one. How does that look? Okay. Okay, I can see uh, the side of my head. I got like a reverse mullet. Do I look good? Do I look uh, sexy? Do I look uh, like a gaming YouTuber? Gaming YouTuber ASMR. Uh, as you can see, we have so far failed to remaster our image, to remaster ourselves as a person. But I do want to talk, like, like Tony Hawk's great. Tony Hawk's is a great remaster. There's really not much you can say besides it's really freaking good. You actually rarely even see bad remasters as a whole. It really, you, it takes something really special to be that. Cause for the most part, you got really good remasters like Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. The Xenoblade Chronicles 2 remaster is fantastic. The Resident Evil 2 remaster is supposed to be really good, but I'm too much of a coward to play it. Trials of Mana was a pretty faithful remaster with a whole new fighting engine. And while it's not like fantastic or anything, it's definitely like, hey, this works. Although maybe Charlotte's voice was not the best thing they could have done. I caught a wee really bad feeling about it. The only really bad remasters I can think of would be like Turtles in Time HD Reshelled, which I actually do have. If you wanna see it, let me know, cause it is <laughs> freaking awful. Tony Hawk HD, of course, the mobile ports of Final Fantasies five and six, which I don't know why, why they did that. And of course, probably the most notorious of the bunch, Silent Hill HD, which, uh, was probably the first time I saw like a comparison video on YouTube when that came out that I was like, holy crap, this is a uh, 144p, but I can tell the difference. All right, let's, let's try to get, let's try to get this top situation figured out. <laughs> what is on my head right now? <laughs> what the f is this? <laughs> Yo, what? Maybe like, look, if I push it really, really hard, in one direction. If I push it really hard this way, okay? It's like a normal haircut. I can fix this. This is fixable. I think we've reached the part where it's time to start using scissors. And it's time for me to get a little earnest with you guys. Um, look, yo, I am just covered. I am covered in hair everywhere. I thought that the trash bag, uh, the trash bag would have been like good for helping me uh, not have like this go on, but uh, that, that that didn't really uh, seem to work out very well on my end. I'm gonna give it a little spin real quick. How are we looking? Is it, are we looking good? We joke around a lot here on uh, this channel, but the, the, the truth is, Tony Hawk in one and two is actually probably one of the best games ever created. And I don't say that lightly. 
and it's not because I was given a review copy, which I was. This is fir firmly rooted in nostalgia. I didn't realize that I had Tony Hawk nostalgia as hard as I did. It's a weird game to kind of have in that position because it's not narratively driven, it's not a life-changing experience, it's just really fun and you don't you, you don't get that kind of arcadey feeling from a lot of games these days at least not where that's the only point right you have something like rocket league where it's like hey you race cars you play car soccer that's great you have something like fall guys which is also really good that it kind of you know enveloped itself in the battle royale genre but the the single player like i'm just gonna go freaking nuts i have two minutes to do so let's see how i stack up against my friends kind of feel that Tony Hawk has is something that I think is a perfect formula and is also something that has yet to be replicated in uh, another manner by any other game where you're like 40 seconds off of the clock expiring and you're still going on a huge trick and like nailing out a 400,000 plus score and everyone's like, oh my freaking God. You feel like a God gamer. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any other game has really found that balance of fun. And maybe it's a product of its time, but it's still a really good time. It, it's still undefeated. Most games aren't necessarily fully replaced by a remaster. A lot of the ones that, even the really good ones, have their drawbacks or differences that make it so you're like, all right, well, I can still play the original and get this out of it. But honestly, with how time has passed, I feel that uh, Tony Hawk 1 and 2 might have actually fully eclipsed the originals this new game has given us something that not only replaces them but like enhances them both while still being so faithful to the originals with all the new level changes in tony hawk one and all of the uh, new objectives and the challenge mode having like 714 challenges you can do the create a park mode which is like way deeper than it has any right to be i wasn't expecting that many options to allow me to take like a ramp and just like ooh, like halfway across the entire stage and it's like you still have 99 percent of your space remaining like they did they did a good ass job and i expect that since this is a budget price game they're gonna keep on adding stuff they're gonna melt either that or we'll have a tony hawk 3 dlc and then a tony hawk 4 underground compilation because it's a different style of game you know but I feel like this is a good starting point. I feel like more people need to trust game developers to do the right thing. They're good remakes, and it makes me feel like 1999 again, for real. And uh, that's pretty cool, especially right now. I'm like brute forcing this at this point. It kinda hurts a little bit, but it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming. Let's, uh, let's bundle up as much hair as we can. Okay. I did it. That was terrible. There I go. I look like I belong in NoFX. We're almost there. We're almost to something, uh, something doable, right? <laughs> look at these bangs. Oh no, what have I done? Maybe this shouldn't be, uh, you know, like three times the length of the other side. Remasters as a whole are really good for the industry because of the fact that they bring old experiences to new faces. And that is something that goes forward in the preservation of video games, which is something that we desperately need because people refuse to have backwards compatibility except for Xbox and of course PC, which cool. Even, even not even all the way PC because you can't buy some of those games and a lot of them don't even run on Windows uh, 10 or anything. So uh, what I'm saying is uh, more remasters just also make new original experiences. Tony Hawk 1 and 2 gets a 10 out of 10, legit. It's my favorite game of the year. It's better than 7 Remake. It, it's better than 5.3. I was born in the year 1990. This is the exact sweet spot for my nostalgia, being brought forth to the light in glorious HD visuals, 4K running at 100 million thousand FPS on the PC version. Make sure to use Epic Creator Code Eruption to help the channel. Hmm. It's one of those games that hits a spot that no other game will ever be able to and it's unfair but i feel like there's a lot of people out there who feel the same and i feel like there's a lot of people out there who may not have had that experience but also will feel the same after they experience tony hawk for the first time if tony hawk pro skater one and two is your first time playing tony hawk then uh good for you man because you didn't have to suffer through skate and shred and five and uh to a lesser extent things like project date but tony hogs back they need to keep it this way and uh keep the remasters up i'm gonna i'm gonna 
I like video games. I think I did it. I think I cut my hair successfully. I had a friend come uh, sniff the back because I I don't trust myself with that. So does, if I don't know if that doesn't count, I'm sorry. I'll uh, we'll go in <laughs> fully blind next time. But let me let's do a little a little a spinny spin for the uh, oh god camera. Oh, that was sick, right? <laughs> I think I did an okay job. Uh, it wasn't the worst haircut I've ever gotten. I don't think it's the best either, but uh, you know, clearly I need, I need to take a shower and maybe, uh, oh God, what? Uh, join me next time for Sega on the Xbox. Thank you very much for watching. Special Patreon shout out to Plasma Phoenix, Legend Gary, Kieran Arter, Kevin Zanowski, Josh Garbage Lord, Jordy McCaffrey, Jacoby Fitzpatrick, Jeffrey Narvaez, Jay Roos, Flaming Fighter, Eli Shane Stauffenecker, David Molnar, Donald Dowdy, DA Stevens, Cliff Pro, Christopher Olivia, Chris Shelton, and Brandon Howell. Thank you very much for your generous support. Uh, I wanted to do my haircut video, but I also wanted to talk about Tony Hawk and I didn't know how to combine them. So this was what that was. I hope you enjoyed it. I, uh, I really, really enjoyed making this one like a lot. Also, another new video will be coming out next week. I got a, I got a friend helping me out now so we can get some speed. We can, videos are, are incoming.